In the previous module, we saw the reaction where zinc was put into a solution of hydrochloric acid and dihydrogen gas evolved. Other metals like iron and lead would also produce dihydrogen gas if dropped into hydrochloric acid, whereas copper and silver would not produce the gas. So what is it about the metals that dictates whether the reaction will go or not? It shouldn't surprise you that energy has a great deal to do with this, but the measurement in redox that tells us whether a reaction is spontaneous is called the potential. When we studied atoms early in the course, we said that they can lose electrons to form cations. The energy change that is associated with that process is the ionization energy. Atoms can also gain electrons to form anions. The energy change associated with that process is the electron affinity. When we deal with materials, the language changes. When materials lose an electron, we describe it as an oxidation. When they gain electrons, we describe it as a reduction. And instead of measuring an energy, we measure the potential for the process. It is not an energy, but rather a voltage. And it is the difference in voltage between the reduction and the oxidation that gives us information about the spontaneity of a reaction.